well, you know, Drew and Rome had you know, eight to 10 years in professionally, and I'm probably a sound grain, probably more, more than that, 12, 13, 14 years playing professional basketball, both in the Hall of Fame, I presume at Akron. Um, Sheon and, and Willie both went on to play college athletics. Brandon and myself, Brandon, um, Brandon Weems at Walsh University, his last year was MVP of the conference, made an All-American team. Um, Marcus Johnson played at Dayton. I mean, we had a freshman who's Marcus Johnson, who's probably second or third all-time at St. V coming off the bench at, you know, seventh or eighth man. So, um, no, that team, again, all to play basketball, all want to win, and that's probably a really good, easy, probably easy and tough team to coach because our, our, I'll tell you, our practices, I mean, Coach Drew would say, okay, here's a basketball, five on five half court. You guys are playing the five all ones, and it'll take like 45 minutes because we would just be beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> like, I just, I would love to practice with that team one more time. Like, I, if I, it was just so good. It was incredible. And what's great about, you know, you know LeBron is who he is, but he walks through those gyms at St. B. He's just the dude, a dude from Akron. As far as, you know, everyone else's eyes, and especially, you know, Drew, Rome, and Sheon, and Willie, and Brandon, and those guys are just, we're calling fouls and travels and we're going to go at you and double team you and do all that stuff. So he wasn't like walking in. No one was walking around eggshells around him. You know, it was, it was a cool experience. And, and what was coach drew like? I mean, obviously he, you know, what was it like playing for him and what was his philosophy as far as the team is concerned? He's very, 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 very good at you know, gelling a team and keeping them motivated and, and sticking to what he believes in he's not going to bend for anybody even if you are a four-time future nba mvp and he's got his 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 values he's got what he wants as his players and team and that's what he's going to get out of them Um, it was his second year he will tell you probably today that he probably could have done maybe a few things differently scheme wise or whatnot or maybe not but he, he he will tell you he's grown as a coach since then and it proves and he has man five or six state championships altogether and um I don't know how easy it was to coach that team with LeBron and all the hoopla around it. Um, he did absolutely a great job. I don't know if I could have done any better because it was to say it was crazy is a true understatement. And we're blessed that it wasn't during a social media or any other crazy age because it would have been even crazier. Yeah, it would have. So, um, but no, he, he's he's really good. He's really good. Big big in the faith. Big in the the. Um, developing young men i was just telling a friend the other day i mean coming from saint vince saint mary in that program in 20 years in the program we we have maybe of people maybe one or two true hiccups in that whole program as far as people who maybe not have panned out maybe gotten in a little bit of trouble and they're still trying to find their path and their in a direction and whatnot but to have that many players come through that program and and, and be the, the alumni status that he has is, is pretty incredible